Urban Dictionary defines it in three ways. Zero to death ownage in just a few seconds. To be utterly destroyed very quickly. Zoo's painful demise by the hands of Silent Spectre and Tang. If you know, you know. And today, we're going to be looking at one of the most iconic phrases in all of gaming. The Wombo Combo. From League of Legends World Championships to being dubbed over old WWE footage, the Wombo Combo is synonymous with utter destruction. But where did it come from? Why is this phrase something that virtually every gamer in the world knows and uses? Today, we're going to find out. Not many people know this, but the phrase Wombo Combo actually has Italian origins. And by Italian, we mean round table pizza, a West Coast chain restaurant that features the Wombo Combo pizza special. Topped with primo pepperoni, Italian sausage, linguica, bacon, mushrooms, tomatoes, artichoke hearts, and green onions on a zesty red sauce, the Wombo Combo's mnemonic ring was quickly picked up by smashers and turned into a household phrase. And there's one specific event where the Wombo Combo as we know it today was born. On one fateful evening in Northern California, the first documented instance of a Wombo Combo would occur. On December 6, 2008, during the regional tournament for the SCSA West Coast Circuit, two players performed one of the greatest feats of destruction ever witnessed in Smash Melee. Now, if you want a truly in-depth account of what transpired that night, I highly suggest watching Last Talk Legends video about the Wombo Combo, linked in the description. If you're okay with a more general overview, well, keep on watching. With that being said, let's set the stage. On commentary, we have homemade waffles, Phil, and Mango. Yes, that Mango. In the game, we have Lucky and Zoo on the blue team versus Silent Spectre and Tang on the green team. Now, this isn't a case of two veteran smashers beating up on some unfortunate noobs. On blue team, Lucky, who is best friends with Mango, was and is a top player in competitive Smash, and is often cited as one of the top 10 foxes of all time. His teammate, Zhu, is a similarly gifted player, who was just breaking out at the time of this tournament. Zhu is known for playing Falco in singles, and his combo video, Happy Feet, is considered one of the best old school montages of all time. And make sure you keep those two facts in mind, as the commentators will be referencing them right off the bat. But their opponents are no slouches either. Before Mango began attending tournaments, Silent Spectre was considered to be one of the best players on the West Coast for a period of time, and holds the distinction of being the only Captain Falcon to ever take a set off of the game's most dominant player, Armada. Although that fact has been somewhat tarnished since the game was allegedly played at 0.9 knockback. But that's a story for another time. Silent Spectre's partner, Tang, was a top-level fox for many years, and as a unit, these two were absolute killers. So no, this isn't a case of two top players beating up on some kids. This is four seasoned veterans, one of whom just happened to be completely and utterly annihilated. Also, a quick content warning, the language you're about to hear is a little bit rough. Now, Melee is a difficult game, and coordinating such a precise takedown of an opponent is really, really hard. But this wasn't some impromptu on-the-fly combo. This was the Wombo Combo, a specific sequence that Silent Spectre and Tang had labbed out beforehand. When they were figuring out the Wombo Combo, they intended to use it on a specific player, a fellow member of their own crew, the Bayesians. And one of their other crewmates, Lunan Spectra, was the intended recipient of the Wombo Combo. Unfortunately, sometimes bystanders catch strays, and on this particular day, Zhu made the woeful mistake of finding himself caught between a rock and a hard place. Zhu became a victim. He, he was just at the wrong place at the right time. Before the set started, Tang and SS approached the main commentator, Homemade Waffles, and told him that they intended to perform the Wombo Combo during the set. This explains why, even before the combo begins, HMW can be heard chanting Wombo Combo, as if willing it into existence. Happy feet! Wombo Combo! The sequence itself begins with Tang and Silent Spectre set up on either side of Zoo, 
Zoo throws out a full hop back air, which completely whiffs, and Tang grabs him, while Silent Spectre lands a second hit nair. This is followed by a grab release into re-grab, a down throw, up smash, dash dance grab, back throw, shine up smash, and then the cherry on top, one of the meatiest Captain Falcon knees of all time. The clip is hype. The commentators are going crazy. Silent Spectre and Tang just performed one of the sickest combos ever. But at the time, few could have predicted that this 50 second clip would change gaming forever. Soon after the Wombo combo was uploaded to YouTube, it started doing numbers. Real numbers. Like tens of thousands of views in a few days, which for 2008 was pretty darn good. There was even a Wombo Combo 2, which today has more than 500,000 views. But nothing could match the hype and intensity of that original clip. Spin-offs and parodies started popping up left, right, and center. The audio was being laid over Pokemon, street fights, you name it, there was a Wombo Combo version. And it wasn't long before other games started using the term Wombo Combo to describe things in a different context. The Wombo Combo quickly became synonymous with a coordinated attack between two or more people to absolutely destroy an opponent or team. And no genre has more opportunities for this kind of coordinated destruction than MOBAs. MOBAs have a wide cast of characters with tons of slows, disables, and kill moves, which means there's lots of opportunities to find characters whose moves work really, really well together. Some early examples of classic wombo combos include knocking an opponent up with Blitzcrank's Power Fist and following it up with Yasuo's Last Breath, or coming in hot with Orianna's Shockwave to suck the team in and preventing them from running away with Jarvan 4's Cataclysm. Any big team play could be a wombo combo like SKT getting that four piece while down 10,000 gold against Edward Gaming. From silver rank to world championships, Wombo Combo is a phrase that everyone knows well. And League isn't the only place where the Wombo Combo was getting some love. Dota 2 is another MOBA that has all the ingredients to create some historic combos of its own. When Universal landed a $6 million Echo Slam that led to one of the most incredible Wombo Combos of all time. PPD, here comes the Ice Blast, ready for the dunk! It's Pretty much any game where characters have abilities are ripe for a good old-fashioned wombo combo. Overwatch, RuneScape, World of Warcraft. If there are abilities that can be comboed, they'll probably be womboed as well. It's been a long road. Rising from the soft crust of a long table pizza, to game stores in NorCal, to YouTube parodies and all the way up to the biggest moments in gaming history, the wombo combo has seeped its way into the fibers of our culture. It's become such a force that it's transcended its original meaning. Big team play in a video game? Obviously a wombo combo. Alley-oop during a basketball game? Sure, you could call it a wombo combo. Landing three bottle flips in a row? Wombo combo. All the boys pass their math test? Wombo combo. It's just a hype phrase, and it's fun to say. And sometimes, it's good to go back and see how we got to where we are today, and how a single moment at a melee regional went from the boys destroying one of their homies to becoming one of the most legendary phrases in all of gaming. This video is made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons. Massive thank you to everyone on this list, and shout out to Jason, B, Brendan, QB, Foxy, Mauve, Pachanas, Sierra, Shampoo, Weeaboo, Spartacus, and Yashichi for being Platinum supporters. And an extra special shout out to Steven, Noodles, and Marco for being Diamond supporters. I'd like to personally wish you guys a very happy holidays. Check us out on Instagram, link in the description. If you want to support our channel and get info on unreleased videos, check out our Patreon. If you want to help us out in a different way, leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name is Jonah, thanks for watching.